I'm John Hibbard and I'm the founder and CEO here at Red Paddle Co. So I normally get into the office about half seven to put the shutters up, turn the lights on, make a coffee. And actually that golden hour, that hour then before most people turn up into the office is great for me. I can get a lot done. Morning. Morning. I'm John. Because actually then when everyone is in the office, oh, I'm lucky, I get to spread myself across the whole business and I feel like I have a, can have an impact, I can help. Every, every team. Depends on the day of the week, but sometimes I'll be with the design team, sometimes I'm with the marketing guys, they just think about logistics, talk about production of product and shipping of product, you know, it's really varied. I, I probably don't have any one singular particular skill when it comes to a, a department, but I, I'm, a, I'm aware and involved in everything. I try and get out for a paddle as often as possible. Every Wednesday, for example, we do a team paddle, and I go out and test boards, particularly in the summertime. I tend to do that in the later part of the day. So I try and get, if you like, business stuff done in, in the daytime during business hours and in the evenings I'm, I'm testing products or I'm just going for a paddle, coming up with an idea or a concept. But people say, but you, you'll never be able to surf these sports, they're too fat and too, too ugly, they'll never surf. And you know, doing it to a point, they're right, you know, there is elements of a surfing paddleboard that you you can never put, you'll never be able to put into an inflatable board. But you can go quite a long way towards that. And we've done that. We've, we, it's taken a long time, but we've got to a point now where we have a board called the 810 Compact that actually serves pretty damn good. Um, you know, I'm not about to take it to Hawaii and pull into 20 foot jaws or something like that. But I can ride a wave on it and I can make a turn on it. And it, it's a really good feeling. It feels authentic, which, go back to the early days, it was all about creating an authentic paddleboard experience.